Hello, today we're going to read Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. Do you know where Mr. Seahorse is? Do you want to go get him so you can listen to the story? I'll wait. Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. Can you do that? Wiggle and twist. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help, asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse, and she laid her eggs into the pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hanging, hiding in the weeds. Can you see them? Here they are. I bet you could see them better now that you know where they are. There's the trumpet fish in the weeds. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I was just, I just built a nest and right away, Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. As Mr. Seahorse drifted further, gently through the sea, he passed right by the lionfish hiding in the, in the weeds, in the coral. Can you see him? There he is. Can you see him better now? He's hiding in the coral. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer because his mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs, and now you're taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head like that. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. See the seaweed? There's the fish. They look just like the seaweed. And so he drifted past them hidden among the seaweed. Before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them to my head. Where are they? Stuck to his head. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You're doing a great job, Mr. Curtis, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam away. Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, and he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind, well, a rock. Mr. Stonefish is behind the rock. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. I couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along his belly, so he's all along there, and the little eggs are stuck right to it, and I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel very proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam away. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? Mr. Bullhead, Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs, and the eggs have hatched. Now I'm babysitting. Are you doing, you are doing a fine job, Mr. Seahorse, and swam away. See all the little guys swimming around him? They must be having so much fun with the babies. The time had come for Mr. S for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted, wiggled and twisted, this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. See them? But one baby turned around and tried to come back to the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse, I do love you, but now you're ready to be on your own and go off and play with your friends. See them all? That was a fun book. Did you enjoy that?